Hey, it's Allison from Computers.Mom here to show you how to check the disk space, that is the storage, on a Windows PC and see how much you have and how much of it is full. This applies to Windows 7, 8, or 10. From the Windows desktop, as shown here, the easiest way to get started is to find this little folder icon and click once. That opens a window, click on this PC on the left, and here you see, we're going to zoom in, that this particular laptop has one hard drive, the C drive, which has 225 gigabytes of space total, of which 135 are free, which is pretty good. Keep in mind, though, that I can't use all 135 gigabytes. Your storage in the computer is like a closet. If it's completely full, you can't move around. So the rule of thumb is you've got to keep 10% of that space free. In this case, about 22 gigabytes. The rest I can use for my stuff. Now, that's not the only way to get to this information. If I don't have the little folder on my taskbar, you can also click on the Windows Start button in the lower left-hand corner of your screen and just start typing the words this PC on your keyboard. A list will come up, click on this PC in the list, and here we are at exactly the same window. That was a pretty simple case, but not every computer has only one drive in it. Let's look at a more complicated situation. A PC, a desktop with a hybrid drive, partly flash storage, partly a traditional hard disk drive. So as you can see, it looks like there's a whole bunch of drives here, and the bars are all the same length, but the drives are not the same size. The C drive contains Windows itself, the operating system. That one's pretty big, and I probably have my program stored there as well. This D section is just where HP, the maker of this computer, stores recovery files. So I'm not usually going to mess around in that one unless I have a really big problem with the computer. The important one is the E drive. That's the largest of the drives that are inside this computer. As you can see, it's 931 gigabytes and almost half of it is free. That's where my data is stored, my documents, pictures, music, and so forth. Then I have a great big backup drive that's physically outside of the computer, just plugged into it, and a little tiny HP tools drive for some utilities the manufacturer has provided. So out of all of those, the one that's the most important when I'm figuring out how much space I might need on a new computer is the eDrive, where my stuff is. Finally, let's take a look at a Windows 7 computer, just in case you're still running that operating system. Click Start, and then Computer or just start typing the word computer in the box down here and then click computer in the list. You also have the same option of clicking the little yellow folder on the taskbar and you'll see the disk drives on this computer just as you did in Windows 10. So the only real difference is instead of saying this PC, it says computer. Here's a quick recap. Look for the yellow folder on the taskbar and click that. Make sure that you have this PC or computer selected in the left hand side of the window that comes up. If you don't see the folder, click the Windows Start button on the lower left-hand corner, type this PC on your keyboard, and then click this PC in the list that appears. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, please click like and subscribe for more tutorials like this.